Hey everybody, welcome to our fifth home lot of the week. It's Friday, 327. Again, starting with a warm up. This will be kind of uh, the norm now. We're going to start with a five minute uh, run or maybe pull out that dusty old bike in your garage and do a couple loops around the neighborhood just to get hot. Then three sets of eight jumping squats. If you can't jump, you got bad knees, just do regular air squats, concentrate on depth, hold on to something if you need to. Then 12 banded pull-aparts for those of you that were able to borrow a band. Just our regular banded pull-aparts that we do uh, during our shoulder prep warm-up. If you don't have a band, you can take two small objects and do a bit over reverse fly. And I'll link a video to that as well. Let's get the same kind of movement pattern. Then 12 alternating shoulder taps. These are just from a push-up plank position. Spread your feet out a little bit wide to make your base of support a little bit greater. And then just alternating shoulder taps without wiggling your torso or hips. Keep everything squared up. After we're done with our warm up, part A, we start with something new and we're just trying to give you guys stuff to you know, keep it interesting, but it's really a lot of the same basic movement patterns. This is just a bent over row, a gorilla row. You'll have a, a, a video and it's basically just bent over doing alternated rows without any support. If you need support, do just a bent over single arm row like we normally do, okay? Then 20 heel elevated goblet squats. We're looking for a big fat elevation, maybe like three inches at least. It's gonna sit you real upright, put more emphasis on the quads. Whatever you need, just make sure it's tough for 20 reps, right? Goblet hold position. So three to four sets, supersetting those two movements, the row and the squat before you get into your 15 minute AMRAP. So on your 15 minute AMRAP, 200 meter run, if you're tired of running, throw on a bike, Right? You can use the bike you did for your warm up. Uh, you can do a hill run, you know, whatever. If you've got an extra piece of cardio equipment, a water rower, an elliptical, we're looking for, you know, 40 seconds to a minute of work, right? Then 12 wall balls. For those of you that have a, a medicine ball, just continue on like normal. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can find something. I wouldn't really suggest maybe throwing it up in the air, especially if it's you know, something you don't want to break or, or, or land on the floor too hard. So you can do a thruster, right? That's a, a good uh, substitute. If you just have a sandbag, you can do sandbag thrusters, right? If you have any type of odd object, if you have your backpack that we talked about loading up, you can do a backpack thruster, whatever you need. Then 12 kettlebell swings. If you have kettlebells, obviously this is easy. If you don't, you can get creative. You can do dumbbell swings. I used to do this, uh, Back in my university gym that didn't have kettlebells, I'd take a big fat dumbbell and I would either grab the head or grab the handle like so and do a swing. It's weird, but it still works. You can also use your sandbag. You can use uh, the handle on it. You can use a backpack. You can use the loop on the top of it, the one that you've weighted, maybe using that for your thrusters. Then you go right into swinging it. And then, finally, going into eight per side single arm push presses. If you have a dumbbell or kettlebell, Whatever you use for this one, ideally you're just using the same weight. Push press, usually the hips, dip, drive, all the way up overhead. Do one side, then the other. Right? If you have dumbbells, obviously it's easy. You can do it with the backpack again. Grab the loop, have it uh, you know, fold down the back of your arm, and you're just doing a backpack push press. Again, get creative, stay moving, let us know if you have questions. Good luck. Bye.